Hi guys, it's Bumblebee Love. Um, and this little girl, yay! <laughs> it's kind of bright, you can't really... There you go. Um, okay, so <laughs> I have a lot to talk about in this video because this girl is so, so amazing. I am completely smitten by her. I suddenly understand all those people who are like crazy about black dolls and um, who spends lots of lots of money on these dolls. I kind of understand how they feel now because she's just so amazing. Um, I was not expecting anything really from her. I kind of thought that she would end up like my um, Isol, Isol doll, Isol Glenn who is just standing on my display shelf and he's just standing there. I never do anything with him. And that was kind of the idea or, or the thought that I... No, that was kind of what I thought this girl would end up um, doing as well. Um, but I... <laughs> I'm completely smitten by her. She is so cute and she's so much fun and she's so different and she's just so, so incredible. Um, so she's definitely not the, um, the last Blythe doll that I'm gonna get. I have already been looking at, at, um, at other dolls and I am debating if I should order one now or if I should give it a little more time. I'm probably gonna wait a little just so I can get to know this little girl a little better. A little better. <laughs> a little better. Um, but eventually I'm definitely going to get more of these because she's so cute. Um, I cut her hair, as you can probably tell. Um, actually, I, uh, I originally, or well, first I cut it to around here, just under her butt. Uh, and I really like that length. That was the perfect length and I was super happy I could do all these cute little hairstyles and put her hair in little buns and everything. Um, but there were just, it was not completely even, there was a few, um, little hairs that were longer than the other and I wanted to even it out and just trim it a little and you know how that goes sometimes you just cut and you cut and you cut and you end up even higher up and in the end you um <coughs> you end up cutting her or cutting the hair way too short so she actually has a short bob right now and I'm so upset that I couldn't just be satisfied with this length and the way that it was even though it was not perfectly cut because it looks terrible when she's not, when her hair isn't up in this high ponytail, it looks absolutely terrible. It does not suit her at all. At least not in my opinion. Um, so right now she's wearing this um, high ponytail and luckily that looks really cute on her, I think. So I'm not too upset, but um, I am really sad because I would have liked it to be like a long, soft um, ponytail. Uh, but eventually, I, I know you can get like different um, scalps with hair attached to it, so you can change the scalp and put on another wig, I guess, kind of. Uh, so I've been looking at new hair hairs for her. Uh, they're kind of expensive though, so I think they're like $50, $50 or something. Um, so I'm waiting a little just because I'm okay with her looking like this right now, but eventually I want to give her... Uh, another another hair, I guess. I'm not sure what to call it exactly. Uh, just because I'm not satisfied with this and I'm a little upset at myself that I cut it so short. Um, but luckily she looks really cute anyways. Um, yeah, also uh, I gave her another pull string. So originally when you get them they only come come with one, one pull string that uh, like closes the eyes and changes the uh, color and the direction of the eye or the direction that the eye looks in. Um, so that's what you can do. But I opened up her head and I gave her another one so she can have sleepy eyes now. So you just pull one and her eyes closes and also changes direction and color and um, you pull the other one and you open her eyes. Um, so that's really nice that she can have her eyes closed. I think that looks so cute. I love the way that her eyelashes are kind of resting on her cheeks. That looks so cute. 
she is just so cute. <laughs> Uh, I'm so so blown away. Um, she's so different from what I thought or what I was hmm, expecting, I guess. Um, and yeah, I, I've actually... Um, I got her yesterday morning and I was on my way out and I actually bought her with me. I took her with me. I put her in my bag and I have never ever done that with a doll before. Uh, ever. Like... <laughs> So much I like her so much that I actually bought her with me and I whenever I I when I go out in the kitchen and cook something she's with me I don't usually carry my dolls around with me at all so she's just really really special and I am falling for her more and more every time I look at her um, she's so cute and her she's so she's I think it's because she's so different that it's like I don't know what it's like <laughs> But she's so different, she's so simple in a way, I like that a lot, like BJDs they're so realistic and you can post them in all these ways and that's great and all but for some reason I really enjoy how simplistic she is, that she is really really doll-like, you can't pose her at all, or you can but it's very very limited, she has these little, you can bend her knees just um, like that you know, but she's so simple and I like that so much for whatever reason, so she's very very doll-like and I I find that very appealing. Um, I think she's going to be my little experimental doll. I have already opened her head and given her like these, oh yeah, and I changed the little pull rings. Uh, she came with this uh, flesh-colored pull ring, I did not like it very much. So I gave her these, they're little beads with crocheted uh, whatever it's called, but there was this crochet around little beads and I think that looks really cute. Um, and, and it actually adds personality to the doll, which is a little strange, but the pull ring adds personality, or at least I feel like that. Uh, so that's a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, I don't know, she is amazing really. <laughs> And she, I am definitely going to um, use this doll as more of an experimental doll. I think uh, I want to redo her face up or make her make my own face up on her at some point. Um, not right now because I really, I actually really do enjoy the uh, factory face up. I think it's adorable and it's so simple and so so neat. And I love her little red cheeks and. Yeah, but eventually I want to gi give her my own face up, I think, and probably also sand the um, the shininess away. It's not so bad on this video because it's kind of grey outside, so... But um, often when you look at pictures and uh, pictures of Blythe dolls, you see that they're super duper shiny. Um, and it, it's not so bad in person, actually. I, I was worried about that because it's not something that I thought was very pretty in the pictures when I looked at Blythe dolls, but it's not bad at all actually. But eventually I want to sand it down and I'm probably also going to sand her chin down a little so she will get a more rounded face um, and then give her my own face up. But as I said, that's in the future. It's not right now, not at all, because I really like how she looks and it might take a long, long time before I decide to do that. Um, she's so cute. I feel like there's a lot of things that I need to say about her. I had all these things that I wanted to talk about, but now I'm forgetting it. And it's... yeah. Oh yeah! Her shoes, or rather just shoes in general, stay on her. That's really nice. <laughs> because all my other dolls, or my... not all my other dolls, but my um... My A-Zone dolls, whenever I want to put shoes in them, a lot of the shoes that I have are too small, so I have to take their feet off in order to get the, the shoes on them. And um, obviously, when they don't have feet in the shoes, the shoes fall off really easily, so I always have to be careful and uh, make sure that the shoes are not falling off and getting lost or anything. But I don't have to worry about it with this girl, um, which is really nice, because she just... Her feet are so small, they just fit into all the shoes that I have. <laughs> so that's really great. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, what else? Oh, uh, I had so many things I wanted to say. I forgot 
what it was now. Um, mm, yeah, I think I've covered what I wanted to say anyway, but she's just so cute and so much fun. Oh yeah, her name! Her name, of course, that was one, one of the things. Um, I actually have three names for her that I am uh, debating on which one I should choose, which is also unusual because usually I have such a hard time finding names for my dolls. It can take up to, well yeah, in my ASON's case is years, I guess, they still don't have any names. Um, but I have three names for this girl and one is Nuna and the other one is Gyda or Mimlen. So one of those three names, I think they all suit her very well. Um, and Gyda, Gyda, there's a little story behind Gyda because um, my mom saw her and she, she immediately said that she thought she was hideous. Um, which I, I can't blame her if, <laughs> if, you, if she hadn't seen a black before and I think she had like um, yeah she had these pink eyes at that time um, <laughs> uh, and she thought she was hideous uh, and hideous in Danish is goosely so she came up with the name Gouda because it sounds like goosely so yeah <laughs> so I thought that was kind of I don't know if I would say it's cute, but it was a little funny that my mom gave her that name. So I'm thinking about calling her Gouda. Um, but the other two, Mimlin and Nune, are nice names too. So, But yeah, um, I think I'll end this here because it's getting long. Um, but I'm just having so much fun with this little girl. And she's definitely not my last Blythe doll, that's for sure. So, yeah. So cute. Oh, another thing. <laughs> um, the the eyes. At first, I was thinking about changing her eye. Um, eye eye chips. Come on. There we go. Um, I like the brown ones here, and I really like the blue ones as well. Um, so the green ones and the pink ones. Um, I was not too too keen about. But actually, when you put her in other clothes. It, it comes in really handy that you can change the eye colors because I have a little green dress similar to this one and when she's wearing that the green eyes are wonderful but in more I don't know in other when she's wearing other kinds of clothes they're not good looking at all so I just thought that was really interesting that you can change your doll's appearance like that um, yeah and I'm just so excited about this doll. Actually, for the past, I don't know, two years or so, um, I feel like the dolly hobby for me has been kind of going down. I'm not sure how to explain it, but it's, it hasn't... Getting new dolls has not been very exciting for me, unfortunately. And the what kept me in the doll hobby has been sewing, honestly. Uh, I wasn't that much interested in dolls anymore. I was more interested in, in sewing. I was not exciting about customizing, customizing my dolls or um, giving them face-ups or... Mm, I was interested in them looking nice, but it was not what uh, I enjoyed about the hobby. What I enjoyed was definitely sewing for them. But I feel like that has changed with this girl, um, or it's different with, with this girl. I don't think about her clothes that much. I actually think about the doll itself, which is really exciting for me. Uh, it's just really a... what's the word? Oh, I can't think of it right now, but it, it just feels refreshing and um, it's really nice to actually have a doll that I'm super duper excited about instead of just excited about sewing for the doll, so yay! <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna cut this off now. Uh, hopefully I will decide on her name soon enough. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm gonna cut this off now. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!